a lot of traders and investors are absolutely clueless or probably don't know about a lot of cool stuff that can be done using TradingView. Today I'll be walking you through some of the things which you must know about one of the best charting tools. So stay with me for a few minutes and just make sure you don't miss out on anything. When you go to tradingview.com, you'll see a page like this. Go ahead, make a free account and sign in. You can use the link in the description as well. That's my affiliate link. Since I already have an account, I'll sign in with my account. You will see a search bar here after signing in. This is the place where you can enter whatever stock, crypto, commodities you want to open. The moment you hit the search bar, you can see that we can search for symbols, ideas, scripts, and people or users. I'll actually recommend you to download the application from the drop down menu here. So you can see it's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. The interface is roughly the same on both the application and the website and there is no difference i'll still prefer to use the application i am currently on the windows app i will quickly change the default settings to the ones i use usually like changing to, to the dark mode changing background candlestick colors adding watermark you can also change them if you want or just keep the default settings first thing which you might want to do is to open the help center they have covered almost everything in the article so i will always recommend you to browse through the topics if you're interested to learn they have covered almost everything it's pretty exhaustive if i get stuck anywhere i usually open the help center and uh, all my queries get solved now if you click on the top left three bars and scroll down to this option you will see a bunch of keyboard shortcuts it will take a lot of time to understand what each of them are doing and you will probably don't need to master all of them even i don't use most of these shortcuts and i usually need around five to six shortcuts on an average because if you select any drawing tool or function or action you will probably have the shortcut mentioned there already and that way you can gradually learn slowly and that will always be more efficient and better you will only learn what you need the most you might have seen lines on the chart called as trend lines and you want to draw valid trend lines just hit the drawing panel or the alt plus t shortcut and start drawing it's that simple now if you are an absolute beginner start by identifying the sharp peaks and the sharp bottoms and try to join them these are called the swing high and the swing lows if you join them you form a valid resistance and a valid support a couple of examples here where i try to draw a valid resistance on the right and a valid support and a resistance on the left you might want to keep the magnet mode on there's a help section for more details enabling the magnet mode will make your cursor snap to the nearest open high low close of the candles this tool is useful when drawing fibonacci retracements or extension levels and when you want to get the exact wick or body so you can keep one of them selected depending on what you're comfortable with if you accidentally draw something and you just want to quickly undo it just press the control plus Z on the Windows and command plus Z on the Mac and you're good to go now let's talk about indicators this is one of the favorite topics of a lot of people there can be different categories as you can see in the technicals these are the built-in indicators which are supplied by trading view these include all popular indicators like the MACD the moving average the RSI and you can also include candlestick patterns as well community script is the public library where people can actually create their own indicators using pine script and publish them for free like i created the retail insider indicator which you can see here let's go and add our first indicator as you can see i'm adding the moving average and the rsi indicators here you can customize the indicators where you can change the input parameters and you can change the style you can change the visibility now if you observe you have seen that i have added more than three indicators which is not possible on a free account i'm currently on the pro plus subscription so if you are on the pro and above you can add more than three indicators Indicators. just play around with these settings and you will come to know about a lot of things coming to the visibility part you might want to see the moving average on only one time frame and you don't want to see the moving average on the daily or the hourly like that so here you can see I've changed the settings and I, I cannot see the moving average on the daily time frame unless I enable it in case you feel you have messed up you can always go to the settings and you can reset that particular indicator here is a small tool that might come handy it is used to hide drawings indicators or even positions on paper trading i'll come to paper trading in a bit without deleting your drawings and stuff this is to show people for example you want to take a screenshot without the indicators and drawings because they look cluttered just hide and take the screenshot there's another shortcut where you can press the control plus shift plus s you can paste it anywhere on twitter on whatsapp web if it's open on paint or word document anywhere if you want to send the link just press alt plus s and it will copy the link of the chart to your clipboard you can share that link anywhere you can also enter the full screen mode with the shift plus f shortcut and come out of it again by pressing shift plus f alert is a big topic and there are a lot of things that can be covered i'll cover a detailed video later on 
system but for simple alerts you can use like this here is an example i want an alert when ethereum is crossing the moving average i'm on the one day time frame and the time period of the moving average is nine so i'll just create it and i can see them here it should trigger immediately okay now if you're on the free version you can use only one alert at a time for pro and above you can use more here is a small hack if you are on the free version if you want more than one chart on the screen with the free version it's still possible just follow along now this however does come with some limitations as you cannot apply indicators on the second chart but it still looks cool and you can show people multiple charts without having to use the pro version you can add more symbols as well it's not just limited to two just follow along if you are still watching this video just make sure you like the video and subscribe because i haven't personally seen any trading view tutorials mentioning this thing and i will share a lot of tricks with you all if you guys support me by sharing the channel it won't cost you anything also make sure you comment your thoughts and share your feedback in the comment section understanding log charts and normal linear charts is an important skill for all traders and investors especially when looking at price changes over long periods of time they will look different but if you are looking at long term charts where there is an exponential movement like in cryptos you might want to use a log chart in linear scale the price difference when the asset was very cheap will barely be noticeable however if you are on the log chart you will see the price movements very clearly i will just share a link in the description below they were published by tradingview themselves so if you are interested to know more just check it out if you want to publish a chart publicly for everyone to see on your tradingview profile you can draw your chart and click on publish button or record a video idea make sure you share something valuable for the community and keep it respectful you can share educational content or just publish your analysis with your strategy whether you are bullish or bearish with reasons this particular part where you can see is for maintaining the watch list and this is for the details you can see the technicals actually there is a good technical indicator which i am showing on the screen right now you can add this as well and this will show you all the details and here you can see the alert logs and the alerts and there you can see a lot of stuff like news data window hot list calendar ideas whatever ideas you have published the public chats private chats and uh, the idea stream is there and if you have any notifications it will show there now this is a very important part where you can maintain text notes as you can see i have maintained some notes here which i use and access occasionally here you can write your pine scripts and this is the paper trading where you can trade without putting in any real money all right you can see i have taken a few positions as i already have set up my paper trading accounts you can place orders here by pressing right click and uh, create new order just make sure you play around with it and try to understand how paper trading works because this particular thing is going to help you a lot uh, you can risk your virtual money you can wipe out your account you can reset your account you can do whatever you want because this is not going to cost you any real money you can learn trading here actually and i will recommend you to try around with your strategies play around with your strategies understand when you can buy or sell especially if you're starting out new and if you don't want to risk any money so this is the way to go if you want to start and if you want to learn trading try trading on a paper or a virtual account before actually risking any real money you can always reset your account and start from scratch again now if you want to check financials here is a very handy tool that will be useful crypto fundamentals are not available here but if you're trading or investing in stocks you can check this out the fundamentals will be pulled from the official exchanges where the stocks are traded. Here you can see all sorts of financial data like cash flow, statistics, balance sheet, everything is available. So before trading or before investing in stocks, you can just feel free to check out the financials. You can also check this button out where it will open a new page for the comprehensive view of all financials. I hope this will be useful for you even if you are investing in stocks for the long term. And as you can see, this will be available on any kind of stock. Now if you want to paste any image from the internet on TradingView, you can just copy that image and just control V or just paste it here where you can see the image will just appear on the chart. You can also change the settings, you can send the visual order, you can change the settings, you can change the transparency to make the image blend with the chart. Now here's an interesting feature on TradingView. You can open any tweet you are interested in, copy the link to the tweet and just paste it on the chart. 
trading view will do the remaining thing it will automatically attach to the exact timestamp on the chart you can drag it up or down to place it wherever you want some more interesting stuff which you might need in day-to-day -day investment and trading activities on the profiles page you will see a bunch of interesting options if you open the stocks you can see large caps small caps high dividend companies i'll just clip large caps for reference i can access different filters as needed i can change the market from this option as well for example if i want to change from the us market to the indian market you can see the same filters an example here is the best performing among the indian stock markets now let's come back to the cryptocurrency markets. On the prices tab, we can see the top gainers and the top losers. I think they should add the NFT markets, the L1 markets and other things as well. We can raise a feature request. Coming to the currencies, we have these options. Coming to the future market, we have the same options. Same for the market ind indices. We have a list of all global markets here. Likewise, we have the futures market and the bond markets. Just feel free to explore what, uh, whenever you get free time. Let's have a look at what Sparks is all about. This contains a lot of curated watch lists for you to get a head start on oh this thing looks interesting uh, let's check it out here's a list of adult entertainment and utility stocks with distributions and whatever stocks are included now this contains a list of some latest breaking news in the all-in-one snaps you can check out all the relevant news here screeners are very important these are the tools that allow you to sort through thousands of individual securities and filter out to find out only those assets that fit your own criteria this again will take some time to get used to i personally took at least a couple of weeks to understand what was going on when I was new. Let me open the crypto filters. These are the technical filters. For example, you want to find out all cryptos across all exchanges that are currently above the moving average with a time period of 50. You can do that using the filter options. You can use filter and keep your favorite exchanges or your favorite technical indicators. You can also change the time frame. For example, if you want the time frame to be 15 minutes, you can set it accordingly. You can also set alerts whenever there is a change in the list, you will get notified. Stock and crypto heat maps will show you all the stocks and cryptos in one place. The most significant asset based on the market cap will cover the biggest portion on screen. It usually shows the status of the overall market, whether the majority of the market is in red or green. You can see the sector wise performance on stocks. Now this stock heat map will contain over 3000 stocks all in one screen. Even these tiny squares will represent one company. Same goes for cryptos. Bitcoin and Ethereum will cover most of these squares because they are the largest. If you hover above each square, you can see a pop-up. If you click on each square, you'll get a simple chart that will show you information about that asset. You can also check out the advanced chart. Another thing which I want to point out is if you are new and you are wondering whether you need a TradingView Pro or any higher plans, I'll recommend you to first get acquainted with the free version. Once you're confident that you are becoming a profitable trader or you want an edge in the markets, maybe higher resolution data or web hooks for algo trading or even volume profile or advanced features other than using multiple indicators on chart, then you can give it a thought. That's it for the video. Before you go anywhere, just check out the description. I have provided all the information, all the important and relevant links for your reference make sure you save them somewhere or save the video for later reference they will come in handy later on thank you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe